Hi there, and welcome to Speak English with Ed. Today, we're going to talk about personal pronouns. Personal pronouns make speech more interesting, more varied, and um, easier to um, deliver. So, let's get straight in and have a look. Now, it's going to be a little bit complicated. These pronouns are a tiny little bit complicated if you're not quite sure about them. So, make sure that you've got plenty of... Um, quiet space to be able to concentrate on the video and uh, watch the video a few times uh, and then at the end I'm going to tell you how you can check up on what you know about uh, what you've learned about personal pronouns. So let's get on with it and see what we're doing. Now firstly what is a pronoun? Well a pronoun it's a word that can replace a noun uh, uh, once you've established what the noun is. Once people know what you're talking about, then you can use a pronoun a little bit later on to let them know what they're talking about. Now, a, na a noun is anything that you can name. If you can put a name to it, you've got a noun. So, uh, people are nouns, places and uh, objects. Uh, they're all nouns and a pronoun is something that once you've established as we've already said once you've established what the noun is then you can talk uh, you can use a pronoun later on further down the line so uh, understanding personal pronouns now we've got a sentence here where Mary she went to school on the bus this morning so, what have we got here? First of all, we've got Mary. We've established who we're talking about. We've established, or the, the speaker, me, I've established that I'm talking about Mary. And then I say, she went to school on the bus this morning. I can use a personal pronoun. I've replaced Mary with a personal pronoun. I could have said, Mary, well, Mary went to school on the bus this morning. But I didn't. I used a personal pronoun. Uh, so, you, you refer to per, uh, people or pre refer to the noun with a, pers a pronoun a little bit later on to make your speech just a little bit more interesting, really. So, you use a pronoun. Now, places, uh, they've got names. They're, they're nouns. They've got, so they're nouns. They've got names. So they're candidates for replacing with a pronoun. And you get places like London, Paris, New York. They're all names of the places. The city names. So they're all nouns and they can re be replaced once you've established which one you're talking about. You can replace it with a pronoun just a little bit further down the line. Um, and then uh, there's other places have got uh, names as well. There's not just towns and cities, places like the kitchen. It's a noun. It's got a name. Uh, the bedroom, the bathroom, the garden. They've all got names. They're all nouns. So we can replace them with pronouns. And it makes your, your speech uh, a lot easier as well. Now, as well as places and people, which obviously have nouns, uh, have names, then You've got objects as well. Objects have names. There's a kettle, a car, a spoon, a table, a pen, um, a computer. They've all got names. They've all been given a name uh, so that they can be identified. So they're all nouns. And a little bit further, as you into your conversation that you go, you can replace the name of it with uh, a pronoun uh, because they make things a lot easier. Uh, when you're talking. Okay. So, uh, personal pronouns refer to people and animals. We refer to people and animals with the personal pronouns that we're going to use here. And in grammar, when you're talking about people to somebody, and I'm talking about people, we put these people into three different groups, three different positions inside the conversation. 
not physical positions, not uh, one in the kitchen and one in New York. No, we, we put them in physical positions within the conversation. Now, the first position, position number one, is always the speaker. This is number one because this, the conversation starts with the speaker. Whoever's doing the speaking starts the conversation. So they're in position number one. Now, the second position is the listener because the, the speaker has to speak to somebody and at the moment I'm speaking to you. So you're the listener. You're in position number two within this uh, conversation. And the third position is everybody else, really. It's the people that you're speaking about that are not in the conversation. You refer to somebody outside of the conversation uh, as the third person. Now, we call these persons, we, we say first person, second person and third person uh, to identify them uh, through um, as, you, as, you go, as we go on speaking. So, how is all this going to affect pronouns? Where does pronouns come into all of this? Well, if we look at the structure of a sentence, we'll find that it's made up in a specific order. It's always made up in a specific order. There's the subject, the verb, and the object. Now, the subject, uh, we're talking about subject of a sentence here, uh, the way that it's, it's, it's uh, constructed. And a subject of a sentence is the person or the thing, it, can, it might not be a person, that is performing an action. See, a machine can perform an action, a person can perform an action, so it can be a person or a thing that's doing something, in other words. And the verb, now this is what the, the thing that the subject is doing. It could be talking, it could be writing, it could be walking, it could be working, uh, it could be thinking. Um, but this the verb tells you what is happening and the object of a sentence now this is the person or the thing that is getting receiving the action of the verb so um the uh, whatever the subject is doing is doing it to the object okay they're doing it to the object so if i'm reading a book to you I'm the subject because I'm doing the reading reading is the verb and you are the object because I'm reading it to you um, I've got to say a, a little bit here that shows you that now a subject causes the action of a verb to happen to the object of the sentence. So the subject of the sentence causes the verb to happen to the object of the sentence. And I've got a sentence here that will just show you what I mean. I eat bread. Now there's only three words in this sentence. It's a short sentence but um, it contains everything that we just talked about. Because I is the subject of the sentence. I am the one that's performing the action of the verb and the verb the action of the verb is to eat so i am the one that's eating the bread and the bread is being eaten by me so the bread is the one that's receiving the action it is being eaten uh, by me and i've used a pronoun here because you already know who i am if you didn't know who i was referring to who, the, the, who was doing the eating, then I would have to put a noun. Uh, but they all start off as being nouns and then that's been modified into a pronoun. Okay, if it wasn't me, say it was Tony eats bread, then I would have to put a noun down and say Tony eats bread uh, and put the noun down. I wouldn't be able to say he eats bread because you wouldn't know who he is. It's all, I've only put I because you actually know who I am at the moment. So subject and object are both nouns. So um, they can be replaced by pronouns and pronouns can be different for the 
subject and the object of a sentence. Uh, in this example here, I hit David. <laughs> now, honest, I don't go around hitting people. I didn't, I don't hit David, believe me. Um, this is just a sentence. So, you can say, I hit David. Now, in this subject, uh, in, in this sentence, the subject is I. I, it's me, the speaker. The subject is the speaker. And you can use a pronoun because you know who the speaker is. You know who he's talking about. And David, it's down as a noun. He's down as a noun because you don't know who David is until I tell you you don't know who David is. Now you do. You know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm hitting and it's David. But before you didn't. Now, if we turn this sentence around and we come up with David hit me, so David hit the speaker in this case, the previous one, the speaker hit David, the speaker is I. Now, David hit the speaker, so I've changed that and I've put in a pronoun for me. We've still got David in our, uh, as a noun, and he's the subject in this case. Before he was the object, now he's the subject. But David hit me. And me, that is the object pronoun. I told you it was going to be a little bit complicated, so you need to watch these. Make sure you watch these a couple of times. and But give yourself a break in between each one, so you've got time to just digest it. Now, as you can see here, both I and me refer to the speaker. They both refer to the speaker. And both I and me are pronouns. But they're different pronouns referring to the same speaker. You refer to him in a different position with a different pronoun. So here's one. John uh, brought me the car. John brought me the car. So John Again, named as a noun, because you don't know who he is, brought me. You can put a pronoun in there because you know who the speaker is. Whoever's doing the speaking, he would use me. Uh, and it's established that because you know who the speaker is. And then, same again here, my brother. We've put brother here as a noun because you don't know who I'm talking about. So I've got to tell you who I'm talking about. I'm talking about my brother. And I'm saying that he's older than me. Now, that's older than the speaker, and you know who the speaker is. So, both of these sentences, the speaker is the object pronoun in these sentences, in both of these sentences. Now, you don't ever say, um, my brother is older than I, because I is a subject pronoun. You don't put I in an object location. You don't say that. Same as you wouldn't say, uh, me eat meat. No, you don't say that. It's, it's wrong. It's grammatically incorrect. It's not correct. You must make sure that you get your right pronoun into the right situation. Um, subject pronouns and object pronouns. Make sure you get the right one in the right way. As you can see, subject and object are different. Uh, I hit David and David hit me. Excuse me. I hit David and David hit me. Both I and me refer to the speaker in these, uh, both in these two sentences. They're both first person pronouns. I, now I is the first person subject pronoun and me is the first person object pronoun. I hope you understand this. It is really confusing until you, you get the hang of it and then uh, when you understand it, it's, it's simple. But you need to be able to understand what we're talking about here um, when you go for your conversation when you go for your interview your, your a1 interview you need to be able to get i and me in the right place that's sort of what they're looking for basic english this is basic english it's a bit complicated but it's basic english um so um 
th the same thing applies for second and third person but we're going to look at those in the next video I think this is enough for you to take in at this moment. Watch the video a couple of times, understand what we're really talking about, and then um, we can move on to the next one. Now, what I want you to do now, uh, just below the video, right here, the, top, the first link below this video, will take you to a quiz. I want you to test yourself and see what you know. Then come back and watch the video a couple of three times, two or three times. Get, get to understand it properly and then go back to the quiz and see uh, if you do any better. Right, write it down. Write, let me know how you get on in the comments uh, below the video as well. If you've got any questions, then please leave them in the comments below and I will get back and I'll answer all your questions. That way everybody will get a chance to see how we answer your questions, what we've got to say. So, we're going to be doing this, uh, uh, the second part in another video, part two. So make sure that you're subscribed and that way YouTube will let you know when we release the video. And uh, if you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to make sure that YouTube will let you know when we're uh, releasing the next video. So what else have we got to say? I think that's about everything. Yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much everything for today. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up because it's much appreciated and it helps the channel. Uh, remember to subscribe to get to know the next one. Check these out a couple of times. Make sure you, that you check the quiz and I'll see you in the next video. So have a great time. Stay safe, look after yourself and I'll see you later. Bye.